Hi, in this video, we're going to be going over a exponential functions question from Applications and Interpretation, IB, 2024, Time Zone 1, Paper 1. All right, so what you do need to know about this before we even begin is that for Paper 1 questions, you do have a lined sheet section. That's where we should actually be writing, but it would be too annoying for me to scroll back and forth. You'd get confused. So I am going to use the space provided here and just make it work. All right, so let's get started. Um, here we have a cell phone and it's charging. We start charging it at seven o'clock. And this is the function that shows how that cell phone is charged and T, and this is what makes it an exponential functions question. T is our variable and T means time. So when you have a variable in the exponent, that's telling you that that's an exponential function. All right, so let's get started. First, it says to find the percentage of power in the phone at seven o'clock. So at seven o'clock, no time has passed because remember that is the start, um, which means that time is equal to zero. So we can go ahead and plug into our function P equals 100 minus 60 times a to the t, negative t, and because time is zero, we're going to plug in zero here. And what happens to the negative, you might be wondering? Well, because zero can't be negative or positive, it is just zero, that's what goes there. All right, so you may recall that anything raised to the power of zero is just one, which makes this question very much doable. So here we have power equals 100 minus 60, times one, which is just 100 minus 60, which gives us 40. All right, so that is the percent of the phone at seven o'clock. Then it tells you that it charges until eight o'clock, so one hour has passed, right, from seven to eight, and the phone reaches 75%, which means that, um, again, we can use our formula or our function the same function that was given, 100 minus 60 times a to the negative t. And now we can plug in those two values. So that is our power. And this is, well, this tells us that time is one, one hour, because that's a time after seven. All right, so we can now put in 75 for p equals 100 minus 60 times a to the negative one. All right, so if you remember your exponent rules, then you should know how to solve this. If not, don't worry, we'll go over it together. So you may recall that a negative exponent can be turned positive if we take it from either the numerator and put it in the denominator, or if it was in the denominator, we can put it in the numerator, that changes the sign of the exponent. So let's go ahead and do that we get 75 is equal to 100 minus 60 over a to the power of one. But we don't have to write that power of one because a to the power of one is just a. And so now we can work on isolating that a. So the first step is to subtract 100 from both sides and we get that negative 25 is equal to negative 60 over a and we can put or negative 25 over one and then cross multiply. Um, and then when we cross multiply, we get negative 25a is equal to negative 60. And then our final step in that part of the question is to divide. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 25 is dividing by negative 25. And so we have to do that to get rid of it. And we have to do that to the other side as well. And we get that A is equal to 2.4. And that is our answer for part B. All right, so now we know our answer for part A is 40 or 40%, let's fix that. And our answer for part B is 2.4. And so now it's asking us to draw the graph of that function. Again, same function, nothing's changed about the function. So we did already find the first point. We did find when no time has passed that or power is 40%. So that goes around here. That is around 40%. All right. And then the question also told us that when one hour has passed, 
or charge is 75%. So let's stick that in also. So that's right here at 75%. All right, so now we just need to find what the power is at two, three, four, and five hours. All right, and I will say that we don't have to have that exact, um, but it would be good to get it as close as we can. All right, so in order, and this is going to help us, in order to figure out those values, we can put P equals 100 minus 60 times or over, we decided that's for the negative, so over 2.4, remember that is the A value we just found, to the 2. And the next one, power, and it would be good for us to use that notation, power when T is 3 is 100 minus 60 over 2.4 to the 3. And power when T is 4 and you see where this is going, 100 minus 60 times 2.4 to the fourth. And finally, power when t is 5 is 100 minus 60 over 2.4 to the fifth. All right, so I did say we don't have to find the exact number of each one, and I meant it because we don't have grids here. All we have to do is recognize that these numbers are getting smaller and smaller, making the power get closer and closer to 100. And so our curve is going to be approaching 100. And so we can just follow that here. Do a little arrow there. And that's how our phone is going to be charging. All right, so yes, you could have done these calculations, but I did want you to just be aware numerically what's happening to those values, why it's going up, but also leveling off. All right, the next part of the question and the final part of the question says, state a mathematical reason why the model predicts a percentage of power that will never reach 100%. And it is related or very much what we just talked about. This value is never, ever, never, ever going to get to zero. It doesn't matter how big I make the exponent. It will get bigger and bigger and bigger, but infinitely close to zero, but never zero. And so 100 is always going to be sub sub subtracted. Something is always going to be subtracted from 100. So it's going to get very close to 100, but it will never actually touch 100. Now, how do you say that? You can say that the term... 60a to the negative t will approach zero but never touch it. You can mention something about an asymptote or an asymptotic behavior and then you'll be all set. All right, that's it.